Welcome to Oske Island. I'm your new host, Carter McQuaw. Some of you might remember me from my time in the band Fametown. You're all probably familiar with my bandmate, Chris. Well, he's out and I'm in. Too costly these days to have around. The lawyer bills are getting rather large. Since it's a brand new start and we haven't been around for a while, let me just go through what we're up to. 24 teens and young adults will be spending their summer and summer break here at this old abandoned boot camp. They'll all be competing for our lowered grand prize of half a million dollars. A little lower than usual, but we've had some expenses. Thank Chris for that. Every three days, one contestant will be eliminated. At the very end, the last one standing will be crowned our winner and receive the grand prize. In previous seasons, contestants would receive a marshmallow at the dramatic bonfire ceremony. We're doing it a bit different. The losing team will meet me here at the medal awarding ceremony. If they receive a badge, they'll be safe from elimination. But just to show we still got it, the badges are actually marshmallow. Mmm, mmm. See, we can keep things just like the old days, just a bit upgraded. Speaking of upgrades, we don't have a cannon or a stupidly oversized toilet to flush our contestants away with. We've decided to send our contestants out in style. The contestants that are eliminated must step on the helipad of shame and take the chopper of losers home. Don't be fooled by the island's beauty. This place is home to some of the most ferocious animals on the planet. <laughs> Nothing but the best for our contestants. Uh-huh, yes. <laughs> the cougars arrived this morning? <laughs> oh yeah, there's gonna be some mullin this season. We're kicking things off in style. And with a twist that will leave you diehard fans going nuts. This is Total Drama Oske Island. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> the dawn of a new era. Bring on the drama. Your mom and dad are doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. soon. When that happens, you'll all be briefed on the competition. Oh, oh, mister, is there gonna be schmars? Cause this one time at band camp, we stuck somebody to a tree using nothing but marshmallows, and it was super funny. We should totally do that, Cotton Candy. Except, I get to eat the marshmallows. Did you guys clean the tree off at least? A life covered in marshmallows sounds really uncool, dude. I once had this dream about being covered in marshmallows, and I was naked. Man, Stinkweed, you're like my best buddy. My friendships transcend human life. I'm friends with all the trees in the park, every blade of grass, and every pine cone. Also, while I'm not Stinkweed, glorious as Stinkweed might be, my human name is Logan. Uh, I'm really sorry, but you are a little, uh, humid, to say the least. Yeah, a little too humid. I imagine this is what unwashed underwear smells like if it was fermenting in puke for a year. <gasps> Oops, sorry. <gasps> it's all good. There's nothing but clothes in there anyways. Oh, uh... <sighs> hey, um... Sorry, my throat's just a little dry. I'm Crystal. I'm Brett. Are you two sisters or something? Oh, we're just best friends. And we're on the same cheer team. Crystal's my co-captain. 
Cheerleaders are awesome. The ones back at home can't get enough of these guns. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Crap. So you can do those cool flips and stuff. Totally. Watch. Huh? Oh, whoa. Whoa. Uh, hey, you mind helping me out? Sure. Whoa, whoa. <sighs> Thanks. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Alex, I, I'm I'm Alex. I'm Nicole. He caught you. So what? Not like he's your hero now, is he? He's nothing but a little geek. He couldn't fight his way out of Betty's barf bag. It's not my fault. I get sick during takeoffs. You know, without the proper mind to control that strength, what can you possibly accomplish? I'm not some super athlete, but that sounds about right. If you want to know anything about partying, though, I'm your guy. Ah! Ooh! <gasps> Are you all right? I've taken way harder hits at parties. I'll be fine. That's the spirit. I once took a horse hoof to the head while shoveling poop out of the barn. Not to mention the pig pan. You know, there's a lot more shoveling of poo than you'd think on a ranch. You sound a little too proud about shoveling poo. Being part of one of the best War Duty clans online is something to be proud of. My clan is undefeated. I play that all the time, but I'm more of an RTS girl. Make my army and smash my enemies. I'm one of the best online players. They call me Pink Laser Sight. You're her? That's so cool. I saw your team solo kill with Racer in the finals. Then you pushed the payload in by yourself. Total clutch play. <laughs> Thanks. It was pretty cool. Choke up on your pitchfork there, bud. You can't be that proud about being a game nerd. Better than being proud to be a redneck gangster. Man, you look whack wearing rubber boots and stuff. You look as threatening as a powder puff. <laughs> yeah. You're preaching about making a fool of yourself? You're the one covered in a tribal tattoo. I lost a bet, then got my piercings cleaned at the vet. Hospitals are for chumps, yo. Sounds like a stupid bet. Yo, how are you doing that? Oh, I've been able to do this my whole life. I'm like a spider! Ugh. Wow, I should do that at my next pageant. How are you able to walk on the roof? Are you, like, half spider or something? Maybe I am. I'll try shooting some web. I'm just not sure where it's gonna come out of, though. I'll try my nose first. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> just, just a little back it up here. <laughs> uh, who's he? Ah, you mean Mr. Jesse Gill? Listed as number one in Canada's most dangerous criminals list? I'd say stay back. He's kind of a biter. I once saw him bite off three guards' fingers just for looking at him wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a liar. He's probably not dangerous at all. Well, he doesn't look like that kind of person, to be honest. Why am I being forced to sit beside both of these freaks? Oh, you're gonna be popular for sure. We are about to approach the drop-off point. Here is your briefing. You are to land and make your way to the dock on the island. Don't we need parachutes? Yeah, you do. <laughs> ah! So tightly, I could swear you had an ulterior motive. Yeah, it's called not dying. Oh, me, stink weed. Oh. Yeah, this is awesome. Not as much splash as I'd hoped for, but I'll take it. You're just lucky I'm here, or you'd have two people on the way to the hospital. Well, I'll be. It looks like the crazy D-Gen guy saved our lives. The name's Jesse, and you're welcome. I so called it. Not a bad guy after all. B-2 
before we start anything, let's get a group picture. Seriously? Not even an introduction? There's a cake in it for you. It's an I'm sorry cake. It better be good cake. Everybody smile. Come on, Jen. Don't make this difficult. Bite me. Hurry up, weird girl. I don't got all day. Come on, Jen. Just a, a little smile. Here, look at the ducky. Ooh, you know you want to smile. Come on. There's cake on the line. Come on. I just avoided death, and you expect me to smile? Well, you didn't die, so you could smile about that. <laughs> all right. Say, Oskei! Oskei! This day's all uphill from here. <laughs> Not a chance! Come on! Somebody help him out of the water and let's get on with this! Here, let me help you. Probably gonna need some help there. <laughs> All right, let's begin. This is where you'll be staying for the next two months. But before you put your things in the cabins, we need to make teams. Does anyone want to volunteer to be captain? Nobody. Uh, nobody at all. Asking for volunteers after you just threw us out of a plane? <laughs> yeah, right. I'll get back to you on that one. Being a team captain puts a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. Which means if your team loses, you can easily be blamed for it. Only an absolute fool would volunteer. I'll be a captain. Perfect! Who else will be a captain? I will be a captain if it makes the day go by faster and I can get out of these wet clothes. Alright, perfect! For the first time in total drama history, we've assembled the most diverse group of teens separated by age. Going from our youngest contestant ever at 14, Isabella, to our oldest contestant at 20, and all ages in between. But if you're really curious, Jesse here is the oldest contestant we got. Now, to see who picks first, I have arranged a little game. Hey, Chief! This is Chief. He owns this camp, and he's been running it for 20 years. Ugh. The last person to cover their ears from Chief's yelling wins and gets to pick first. You two are dead. And go! <laughs> Jesse wins! Jesse will have to pick a guy, then a girl to start us off. What? You get to pick first! Oh, all right. I pick Devin and Jen. Hmm? Uh, hmm? Uh, why me first? I mean, look at me. Do I look like a winner? Devin was an obvious choice, and Jen? Jen's not that bad looking. There might have been girls in juvie, but they were separated by a 30-foot fence, and they all wanted to tear me limb from limb. Nothing's more frightening than the top most dangerous girls in Canada liking you. FYI, third most dangerous teen in the country is a girl. And now, Brett, it's your turn. I pick Seth and Natalie. Cole. Yeah. Yeah. And Vanessa. Hmm. All right. Colin. Oh, right on, man. And Chloe. Alex. And Kimberly. Well, things aren't looking so bad, I guess. Daddy's not gonna be happy that I'm here, though. But it says in the contract that parents aren't allowed direct contact with the contestants, so there's really nothing I or he can do. Plus, there's a lot of cute guys here. Logan Mishmal. It means thank you in my love language. And Betty. Xavier and Gracie. Now you've got a spider on your team. <laughs> Eric and Ashley. Our team just got a thousand times more cuter. Matt and Zoe. About time I should have been picked first. But instead, Firehead and Grim Girl got picked first? This is such a joke. I have no choice but to pick Zachary. And we'll take Nicole. 
So Jesse, pick one more girl, and you do have a choice. You can split the two best friends, or pick Isabella. I think it's obvious. I pick Isabella so Crystal can be with Nicole. Best to put the youngest player with the oldest. Yeah! So by default, Crystal, you go to Brett's team. To be honest, I wanted to pick Crystal and Nicole first, but I was gonna see how far down they'd fall in the draft. You know, like in a hockey pool. Crystal and Nicole were steals. I have no idea what Jesse was thinking. Cheerleaders are athletic and energetic. They're gonna be key players on my team, I just know it. Plus, they're hot. Especially Crystal. So Jesse, you and your team will pick a name. Same goes with Brett's team. Each team must have the name of an animal in it. So be creative. We all agree on the Furious Falcons. We all agree on the Brawling Bears. Now you can move into your respected cabins. But before you go, let me tell you what you're doing here. All of you have been hand chosen to compete in this competition simply because you have no idea what this show is. You will eliminate your fellow competitors till you are the last one left. And your reward will be $500,000. Now disperse. You only got 10 minutes to unpack and get settled in. So there's money involved. All right, game on losers. Oh my. I needed a new computer for so long. And the machine I could build with that kind of money? Dream build, here I come. Half a million dollars. That would really put a dent in those student loans, and then some. All right, TV show, you've got my attention. So many donuts. Oh, I can taste them now. So glazed and begging to be eaten by me? Tim Bortons, here I come! I bet you dollars to donuts those DGens spend that dangerous donation on some downright delusional degeneracy. Me, on the other hand, I'm gonna spend that money on a full head of cattle. Or a new PlayStation. You can't go wrong with a new PlayStation. Sweet, sweet studio time. Here I come. Dig it. Ah, oh, freedom's never smelt so good. What are you so upset about? You didn't want me to save your life? Or are you always like this? No, just when I'm forced to stay in a dump. Hi, I'm Kimberly. Oh, but I guess you already knew that because you picked me on your team. I just wanted to say thanks for saving us. So what did you do to get number one most dangerous teen in the country? It's a long story. Everybody, report to the beach and get ready to get wet. Chief has a little surprise for you. <laughs> oh, and by the way, if you can't swim, eh, well, that could be a problem. It would be bad to have somebody die on the first day. Hey, who wants to put money on this? I got 20 bucks on the big fat guy. <laughs> he obviously doesn't get the reality of being thrown out the back of a plane without a parachute. My dad is so controlling. He makes me wear what he wants all the time. But now that he's not here, I can wear whatever I want. Time to be like every other girl. It'll be the first time I've gone out in public wearing a bikini. I am Chief. No, that's not my name. But you're gonna call me that. Got it, punks? What are you kids deaf? When I tell you something, you respond. Yes, Chief. Got it? Yes, yes Chief. Chief. Looks like we got us to wanna be heroes over here. Well, your insubordination has just volunteered you for the first morning exercise. What are you gonna do? Make us swim to that island over there and back? Yeah, I am. Way to go, fortune teller. All of you are gonna swim to the island and back before you receive any breakfast at all at my camp. Don't do it, and you go hungry. Do you understand? Yeah, dude, we understand. No need to spit on me. Dude, nice ink. Yeah, my ink is pretty deadly. Hmm. Whoa. What happened to your arm? Oh, that. That's a story for another time. Yeah, this bad boy, it took internal and external stitches to hold it together. Yeah, it was painful, all right, but man, it does look cool when I think about it. Tattoos are so hot. This guy's just too perfect. 
Plus, I'm a total sucker for scars. I wonder how he got it. Oh, um, uh, I mean, he, he's alright, I guess. You pretend you never heard that. Okay, so, this Jesse guy is really doing it for me right now. Dad would so not approve of him either. He's perfect. Oh, <laughs> I'll get him moving. <laughs> Release the piranhas. Are you insane? <laughs> what a chicken! I wouldn't release the piranhas this early. They're for later. What didn't you people understand about... <sighs> <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Hmm. What's wrong, boy? Afraid of a little aqua de vino? No, I'm just wondering if you're trying to kill us because this is literally impossible. Don't give me excuses, boy. Look at the little blonde kid out there. Are you gonna be beat out by a 15-year-old with a cat lick or a pink-haired girl with a gaming obsession? <sighs> They're barely keeping their head above the water. Either you swim or you starve. What do you think about that, Private Smart Alex? Great. He's doing puns now. Yeah, I think I'll starve. You good for nothing, degenerate! If you don't get into the water right now, I'm gonna tear off your head and use it to play the world championship with! Oh, I'm so scared. I don't get to eat breakfast and you're gonna tear my head off. You wouldn't kill me, and I can go without food. <laughs> that was pretty brave of him to stand up to Chief like that. <laughs> Not to mention pretty funny. Something just touched my leg! I no, don't want to die! Do it to me. Would all of you just shut up and keep swimming? Ah! Yeah, <laughs> I lied about saving the piranhas for later. get out much and I might have inhaled a lot of water <laughs> yeah impromptu dying isn't a daily activity for me either well not regularly it's been a couple years good y'all made it now you gotta make it back and how do we do that with killer fish in the water find a way this is gonna be one awesome summer who will make it through this challenge alive who will go home first and who will be the one who outlasts them all? <laughs> Join us next time for another jaw-dropping episode of Total Drama Osuke Island. <laughs> <laughs>